Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Connie Nieto, one of your Miami trainers. Today's class is Rentals, Short-Term Research, Marketing, and More. In August, as mentioned, we will be starting a new series, including a second portion to this class regarding rental statistics and information that you may be interested in. So watch out for that class available via the calendar. Now moving along, we're gonna come to our main page. How many of you are following along? You're gonna go ahead and follow the steps that I'm going to take. Let me know via the chat. Alrighty, and I'm gonna get started here and I want you to learn if you haven't before that you can in many occasions put a forward slash at the end of the website and type in just about anything you're looking for regarding products and services. And then I also want to show you that there's a search bar and you can actually start typing rentals on that search bar. Click search and it should, oh, it's not following. So oops, let me take you directly to the rental page. And to get to that, it was miamirealtors.com forward slash rentals. Now the class today is to talk about this subject matter that's very hot at the moment. A lot of people are looking to rent. Statistics show right? That millennials prefer to rent first and see what the community or area is like, if it's fitting to what they're going to be doing, right? Because they have a tendency to roam and move a little bit more, a little bit quicker, right? Than other generations. So they like this rental. Now, there's also been a change currently, right? Um, in interest rate, and that may make affordability, how much you can afford to buy have changed. And therefore, you may be deciding to wait. And then there are those that are already renting. So I'd like to uh, thank all of you that answered. And now tell me what area in our five county area you're in. Are you in Miami Dade, Broward? Are you in Sunrise? Are you in, uh, close to Las Olas? Are you in the city of Miami, north of the airport like I am? Let me know where you're at. So when we do the rental searches, we can search in your area. Now this rental page, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and paste it in, right, into our chat. So I see Pembroke Pines, South Beach, you're looking for short-term rental, and we're gonna be discussing all of those. And I'm gonna show you how to add items to assist you um, and how to search for several things, unincorporated Miami-Dade. All right, so that could be Kendall, West Kendall, right, Homestead. Um, nice, thank you all for sharing. West Pembroke Pines, and no one in Brickell or West Brickell, Little Havana, just checking to see. All righty, so we have this Miami Rentals for real estate rentals for lease. And one of the first things that shows up here is fair housing, right? Ay, wonderful, JTHS, we have our Jupiter, Tecesta, Hope Sound area here. Kevin Tura, good. Then we also have an everything you need to know about fractional real estate investing uh, handbook. We have finding success in short-term rentals here. Residential landlord tenant information right from Florida Realtors. Rental assistance resource from the NAR. Inman Real Estate, a rental news and tips. So these are articles and information. I always like to click into here just a little minute and remind you that as Miami members, you have a free Inman, right? A subscription and you have real estate news and tips info on Airbnb. Airbnb makes changes to summer release after host complain. It's a basic human right um, aimed to rental price gouging stakes. There's information here for just about everyone, right? All right. So back to the rental page, we have realtor.com's rental advice hub. And I like to show you that as well. So you can click through these. And why I'm clicking with you is because I want to make sure that you know that you can click and get your info. Five things that will very likely get you evicted. So things to avoid, right? Want your social uh, security deposit back. You better do these things. So a great idea. So what is this uh, doing? What is this doing is making sure that when you are working with someone that rents, it gives you articles and things to keep in touch with your renters. Now, how many of you already work with renters? All righty. Um, if you do work with renters, and I see um, Mr. Curtis went ahead or Ms. Curtis went ahead and raised her hand and Chelsea wrote yes. 
Um, one of the things that we would want to do with someone who runs is put them in a two, three year plan, correct? And to do that, you would need ways, right, to go ahead and be able to um, be able to share info and keep in touch with them. So here you have plenty of resources like that. Now, 12 tips for your walkthrough, for your final walkthrough. And this one I am going to share. And this is one of those infographics that we love and we share on social media. And I'm going to download it as a JPEG and send it via the chat. I'm going to expand my page here and we're going to talk. You can do these walkthrough and it's set aside 20, uh, 30 to 60 minutes for a walkthrough to be conducted before closing. Make sure your contract is okay. Starting inside, open and close windows and doors, test heating and AC, confirm all appliances are working, test all light switches and electrical outlets, test smoke detectors, check faucets, and there are no signs, right? This sounds like a four-point inspection, right? Or like an inspection. Flush toilets, confirm tubs and showers and sink drains properly, uh, check exterior of home for signs of damage, confirm all landscaping uh, that was present and is still in place. So this is a great little tool and I'm gonna go ahead and send via the chat. So let me get my download. Okay, and send it to you. So what is this? A way to get some information, right? So we're gonna come back to infographics here and I'm going to, for just one second, see if I can search and see if there's anything on that. We don't see anything there. Uh, let's see if I type rentals. Nothing either. So I guess that was the best one. All righty. So we're going to come back to rentals here. We have our class today. I want to come up here on the side and show you that there are short-term rentals and classes already here on demand. We have uh, statistics available for you and more. If you have a question, send it via the chat because I see some of you raising your hand. Right. I want to make sure that we get the questions answered. All righty. We also have rental beast, right? Landlord station and other items that I'm going to be showing you as well. Now we're going to come back to the home here on Miami Realtors, scroll down, and I want all of you to come into the Miami Gateway and click into the gateway and use your license and password, right? To get yourselves in. And that'll bring you to the gateway here. And we're going to start first by clicking into matrix. Now we're going to talk about those short terms and searches. And I have matrix here available, right? And we're going to talk a little bit about okay to advertise. Um, we'll talk about our market watch and switch it to rental and customize it and get you information going, etc. So some of you gave me locations, but would anyone send me a zip code so I can set up the market watch and show you how to make the most of it? Hmm. That was quick, Stella. And we have Chelsea, we'll use your two. We'll use the others that I got uh, for the rest of the class. Sounds like a plan. So I'm here in my market watch. And the first thing I wanna do is switch over to residential rental. And I wanna click on customize. You see it there? So this is in matrix. I'm gonna click to customize. And of course I wanna come in clear. Why? Because I wanna use um, those zip codes that you shared. And to do that, I'm going to use the first two of 33029. I'm going to put a comma, 33139. Oops, 33139. You know what? I'm going to use all of them. 33326 and 33418. What am I doing? I'm telling the market watch to give me information on these set areas, and I'm going to click save. What is that gonna do? I can come into here and I can choose to see what's happened in the last 24 hours. I can choose to see what's happened today. I can choose to see what's happened three days ago and seven days back. How does this help? I can then just from opening up my system, right? See coming soon, new, back on market, price decrease, price increase, active with contract, canceled, closed, pending, rented, temp off market, withdrawn and expired. 
So this let's say these zip codes are my farm area. When I have my morning coffee, juice, uh, drink, oatmeal, I can open it up and see. The next thing I could do is select, since I have the information here, I know the numbers, but I can click into these and see what's rented. I can then click on the MLS number and view the property. I can click next and view everything. So here was one in Miami Beach, right? Etc. So that's a way to make the market watch for you, work for you. So these are the rentals. And where do I see the rental price? Right here, original, right, price. And then you have here the sale price. Dilek, did you have a question? Because I see you raising your hand. Just making sure. All righty, so this one actually rented at $27.50. And I'm sorry, hi, hi, Connie, I do have a question. When you say original and, and um, so does that mean that they they listed it at, thir at um, $33.50? And, and they to put it at $3,000 and they even brought it down to $29.50 mm -hmm. and it rented, right, at $27.50. And what you could do here in the listing is you can look at property history and you can see the changes. Ah, so, yes, I know. So to me, if you work an area, um, you wanna make the most of that market watch. Now today's class has to do with rentals. When you take a 201 or 301, we really go over the market watches for everything. The same thing I showed you for the market watch for rentals, how you customize the other ones. Um, but I would do it for your area because you could come in and study and was like, well, okay, there's some price decreases, et cetera. Now, I'm going to come back to the homepage by clicking on the logo. And those were just, you know, rent. Some of us, sometimes we want to see the new. Now, I'm going to come down and just put three day, right? There's 29 new and click on it. And sometimes you want to see what else is available. You're helping someone find and you want to find it fast and first. You can actually come into here and sort by price. Okay. All right. And remember, I didn't put a bat or a bath or anything like that. So I see the information here. I see the square footage. I won't send a video of the class. We had some recorded even on the rental page. And we have a YouTube channel that we have available. How about if I provide you links to those? Um, I will most probably be uh, editing this one and posting it. So far, so good. And um, I want to make sure to to share it, but that won't be immediate. But yes, we'll go ahead and we'll work. Now here I have um, an MLS number, right? And I'm gonna click over to listing and this is a new property that's for rent. It's a one one, okay? And then you have the next one. And I love the fact that you can do what? Review it. So you came from your market watch and you get to see what's new and available. Okay. Now, remember, I did it from mixed locations because I was trying to fit all the zip codes that you've provided. I hope you like that because we get to take a peek at this. Okay. And I want you to be ahead of the game by making sure that you use everything you possibly can to get you what you need. Now, how many of you are in rentals and would also like to see what it would be okay for you to advertise? Do you know about okay to advertise? Silence is golden, so not even a, men a mention or a question. All righty, so, okay, first, I I'd love to tell you the why. So we're going to come back to Miami Realtors, and we're going to click on MLS here, okay? And, and I want to tell you a little bit about rules and what you can and can't do and what you should and shouldn't and what you do to follow up on what you put out there. So MLS, okay. And then we're gonna find okay to advertise right here. 
And this is instructions for the broker, but I always use these. I will send the link to this to you. Give it a chance, okay? And this is the okay to advertise. And the office has to give the okay, et cetera. But what I love to show is that it could say no. Yes, attribution not required, meaning that you do not need to mention, right? Name of the listing firm not required in your advertisement. And then you have if broker indicates yes, attribution required, must identify the name of the listing firm in a similar size font in a reasonably prominent location on the advertisement, right? If the broker indicates yes, agents can choose then, you know, which they like. All of this available to you, right? Now, this is the rules for the person from the brokerage and then each listing. So coming back into matrix, right? If there is a farm area and you would like to mark it as a favorite, you could do all of the okay to advertise, but you could also do this for rentals. So this will be the first time that we visit the rental search. We'll come into search, residential rental and click in. And then I'm gonna leave just active and active with contract. And I'm going to scroll down and one of you, 33130 and 33027, those are the last two zip codes. So you could come in and put the zip code info, but first I wanna see how many are available. And then you could put beds and baths if you were searching, right? But this is an okay to advertise for you. In the add and remove area, you would click and the available field area under search, you would put okay. And then you would select okay to advertise and add it. I of course already have it, it's right here. Then you can choose to move it up or down, right? Locate it. And then once you have it in the selected fields, it will be saved for this search type. So, so far so good? Just making sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna click the back button, thank you. And now we're gonna come down and we're going to look for rentals, right? And we're gonna select attribution not required. There are 209 of those, right? I'm gonna click on command or uh, control and remove that. And attribution required, there are 56. I can actually select both. I'm not selecting no, because that means what? That you can't. And with written broker approval, that could take some time. And do rentals last very long? So I'm, I'm choosing to show you, you pick whatever you like, but I'm choosing to show you things that could be quick for you, okay? And with that, the next step is, right, coming to your results. And then I wanna add something else here to my result grid. Notice that I have MLS number, right? Status, area, address, price, uh, month, furnished, beds, bath. So let's say like around here, and I'll show that again. If I click, right? If I select here, let's say, and I see the little glove or hand up here, that's to sort. But if I see that cross up here, I click, and it allows me to insert, remove, et cetera. And I'm gonna click here to insert. And in the search field, I'm gonna type, okay. Let me do that one more time. Okay, okay. And I select it, okay to advertise, and I put apply. Why did I just do that? Because now I can see the type of okay to advertise and I can sort by it. And these first ones do not require attribution. So those would be something I could put in the Facebook marketplace. If I put it on Facebook marketplace, what's my responsibility? Because I will not be connecting it, right? Through one of the systems that's connected to the IDX. So if it becomes anything other than active or active with contract, I would then have to go back in and do what? remove it okay so that's one thing delete very good yes 
So I'm going to come into here, select, and I see this first one, which is a shame that it's that image, right? Wish it would have been a little more um, different. That's a 1500 zero one. So it's an efficiency. Next, I have this one outside of the area. Next, right? Oh, by the way, that was short term. It was for a week. Next, I have here another property in North Miami Beach, right? Next, 1600, another one, all right? So all of these are okay to advertise. Now, if you wanted to connect it using um, a product that would be using IDX, you can actually come in any listing that starts with an A you can copy the listing number, right? So I'm gonna copy it here. I'm gonna come back to my gateway. And we of course teach an Agent 3000 class, but I wanna show you that you can come and click on the Agent 3000. And if you've set up your accounts already, right? When you come into Agent 3000, you would do your settings here on the green button and put your profile logo and photo, right? You would upload. And that's part of all part of an Agent 3000 Part 1 class. I'm going to ask out. But once you're here on the dashboard, if you wanted to share it via social media tools to Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, you could click social media tools, listing collage post. So we, would, we copy the MLS number, Agent 3000, social media tools, listing collage post, come up to here. Paste your MLS number, remove that space from the front. And this is connected to the data from the MLS. So it's IDX connected. You click into here and it tells you this is listed by Alan Bender. And we do have permission because it says so on the OK to advertise. You select I agree. And now you can come and select from all the photos, right? Which one you would like to share. You have up to five. Let's see, let's do this one. Okay, and I can create a post here. Folks, I know that's a good practice if you'd like. There's another tip I was gonna give you. While this is creating, it already did. I always like to come back to Matrix and depending on your computer, you can come to the very top and select to do what? Print. And I'm gonna see if it'll let me show you a print preview here. And I select print, not a report print, because I want this, let me show you. Do you see what I print here? This is why I do it. Let me try to make it a little bigger. It's making the other screen bigger, not here. Um, I wanted you to see that it said, yes, attribution not required. You guys can see it there. You see it there. I keep this for my purposes. I save it as a PDF, click save. You can open a little folder if you like. Type in that MLS number, you know, and create that way if they ever decide to say anything. Okay, you have your proof. You like that? That it did say what? Okay, to advertise. Okay, I always, it, that takes two seconds, right? And, and it's um, a plus. I also like Oksana's idea. You could reach out to the agent if you want, um, but they already gave permission, but you're right, you could confirm. Maybe they haven't uh, changed it um, from active or active with contract. And I, you can then share this now, coming back to Agent 3000. I click to create collage and I can click to Facebook. Right, scooch over, share onto a page you manage, select your business page. And then I'm gonna let it refresh a minute here. I'm gonna leave Facebook here. 
and do it again. It's having a little issue here and I think it might be that it's too new in the system. So let's see, let's do a LinkedIn to show you. Of course, uh, this recording will be available. I hope you're learning at least little tips to make things easier for you. And there you see how it will look on LinkedIn. I wanna share it in a post and you can come in and say, mental available. And let's come in, I'll type better in a second in daily. Let me make sure I put the appropriate thing. So, to share, of course, because I teach this and more. Products, okay. and services. And what do you, would you guys put there? or just a daily uh, rental, right? And then you would put contact me if you're looking to rent, invest, you know, and buy in South Florida. And you would go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna come to the very bottom here and click post. And what I love about LinkedIn is, you know, view post and you wouldn't be able to see the gorgeous post. It's right here. Another thing that I like to show you is that you can click through here, right? And it would immediately take you to a page for the property with all of your contact details. So did you like that? All righty. So coming back into Matrix, that's one thing. Coming into the system and creating a search, right? Oops. So I'm going to come back into my recent searches here. And we have our rental because I want another step here. Another step to show you is I need rentals. I like to showcase them, whether it's on Facebook Marketplace or on my website, et cetera, right? Um, but I want to save this search. I don't want to have to come and do it every time. So once you have the search open, you click on save and you click new save search. Another tip, I did it for everything that was available. You could come back to criteria and select a distance from an address, a couple of buildings, area numbers, zip codes, like I had shown you before, you could actually come and do cities and geographic areas. I just left it open to everything so that you would know what's available. Now with that, I'm gonna come back to my results and show you how to save it. Save, new save search. Now as a member and a matrix user, you have 10 favorite searches available to you. So when you click save, you could actually come to the top and put okay to advertise, right? Rentals. And then you see the favorite here. <coughs> Enable as a favorite search on the home tab. You would click it here and I'll leave that on screen a second so you can see it. And then you click on save. The nice thing about that is that now, every time you come back in, it will be right here in your favorites. If you don't have your favorite located like I do, maybe you have it here, maybe you've closed it up, maybe you've exited it out, try to find the additional, see if it's there, bring it out with your mouse, locate it where you like it. It's your widget. And here you have okay to advertise rentals. Now I just did the search today. So if I click to update, of course, I'm not gonna get an update on that one, I just did it. But if I click to update and let's say, oops, let's come here, update all, right? Let's give it a second. And what this does, I love this is, it'll give you the new ones from the last time you did your search. You like that? So of course I just did my search. So there's no new unless something happened between when I did the search and saved it and right now, which is way too short a period, it could. But for the other ones, this is what would happen the next time you came in, you would only see the newest listings that are okay to advertise. So what this does is help you not to post or share, right? Items that you may have already shared because you already saw them. This would just give you the new items. How many of you like that?
right? This is a clean way to see things. I always tell people that the favorite searches are for the realtor. They are for you. And the next thing is, yeah, I did these for okay to advertise. You should have some favorite searches here for your farming and prospecting area. So you can always know what's happening in your vicinity. They are 10. Use them for you and use them wisely. And this is one of the things that you could do. I love that update item because look, let's say it was this one here. You would just click the new. These are all the okay to advertise. And then you would only see the new properties. So you would avoid doing what? Always promoting or putting up the same things. You would only put newer ones. So to me, it's just a great, a great tool. Next, all right, this is a way to keep on top of things. All right, I'm gonna take a second here and make sure we're covering everything that we're supposed to. Is a thing. How many of you can't believe that it's already the 11th of July? We're in the middle of the month. All righty. Before moving on, before uh, moving on, I want to go ahead and show you a little item here, right? And talk to you a little bit about here on the matrix homepage when you scroll down. And I don't have time to explain all of the property watch, but how many of you already work with renters? Um, Oksana, I have a Spanish one this afternoon at one. I believe it's at one. Okay. And do you know how to market to them or keep them posted of what's happening in their area? I invite all of you to consider using eProperty Watch. And even if they're renting, you have 2,500 for free as a Miami member, for free to you, not to the association. And this is a, a way for you to keep in touch. It gives them neighborhood information, market trends, and it'll let them see what the home value is of the property they're in. Rentals are high right now. So in fact, if they would save a little, maybe they could be able to buy even in the area that they're in. So what a great tool uh, to be able to send this out. The next thing I wanna show you is, um, within rental listings. So we're going to come back into our okay to advertise rentals, right? I want you to see that there's a rental beast button. So we have all of these widgets, gadgets, links, you know, including Cardo front, rate plug, a direct link to RPR. And then we have rental beast. And if I click to here, it will bring you to our rental beast search. Now, this is a product that you have access to. It says they're sorry. It appears the listing clicked on is new. So they haven't gotten a profile. That's fine. But what I wanted you to see here is that you have an application form that you can fill for them, right? And this would be available for 30 days. And this is a background check that you can do. It costs $49. The property will be contacted and notified when the report's ready to review the real estate professional. If you're not the listing agent, be sure to contact the listing agent before inviting a client to apply to verify that the landlord would accept apply now applications. Enter the listings agent uh, contact information in the property contact section, unless you wanna direct it to yourself, right? And this is a way to do a background check, apply now for rental based application for tenant submission, a, a rental credit report, rental credit history, background check where applicable. And you can do it directly from here. I'd love for you to use eProperty Watch. We teach it in a class called Working with Buyers and Sellers. But I'm a firm believer that a lot of you are very, you could come if you needed to. But I, I do want to take a minute and answer back, uh, Dilek, that, um, and we'll talk more about uh, Rental Beast right now. I'm going to go ahead and come back to the main page. Um, I've, of course, already registered. But if you click through, there's a two-step process. You put OK because it is free to you. And then you fill out your information and you can start to contact your customers. It's free. It's there. I would use it. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to come out of matrix, but not before talking to you about short-term rentals. How do I search for short-term rentals? There's a couple of ways. Well, first we're going to do a search. Right? And we're going to come in and do a residential rental search. And I want to show you that you can come in and add items like this one. So we have furnished for seasonal rental. 
And then you have rental status and every month. And there's also rent period. So some key elements, rent period, right? Rental status. And then we can look in remarks. Right. So rental period, let's say that I'm looking for a week. And I want it in Broward County. There are 46 matches renting. And then all I had to add was the rental period. And you can select. How many of you like that? Now I'm gonna remove it by clicking into here, controller command and removing it. And then what happens if I was looking for October seasonal, right? Let's see, cause I have mine a little out of order. And I want August seasonal, not July cause we're in it already. And let's see if I find September, here it is. I have 97 matches in Broward. Let me remove Broward. 376 results for a seasonal. Now, some of them say week. So let's take a peek, right? This is in Colombia. This is in Palm Beach. Seasonal, 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 seasonal. 1,250. And it looks like it's barn, uh, it's barn rental. Mm -hmm. All righty, let's look here. Let's look at this one. They're all seasonal. Utilities furnished. Welcome to this one bedroom, one bath, ground floor apartment in a two story home, one block from the historic central of Lake Worth Beach. Broker remarks. Let's come back to this search. So we're gonna come into criteria and we're gonna look again. And what we're gonna do is this time, of course, I'm gonna clear everything. I only want the actives. So I'm gonna do that actives. And I'm gonna look for the word remarks here. So let's see if I have. So we have the broker ones there. We have internet and remarks. And here I can put it the word short. And if I do that, I have 1,292 matches. So I'm going to do it for Miami-Dade, 596. And we'll click results and we'll look. And then we'll find the word find here and we'll put short, a short distance. All righty. That's not what I wanted. short walking distance. Okay. Short term rental. It's available in September only for 1,800, zero beds. I mean, yeah, it's just an efficiency and it's in Miami Beach. So how many of you like that? So we looked rent period, rental status, and in remarks. And in remarks, I want to note to you that what I did was put the word between asterisks. I put asterisks, short asterisks, or you could put asterisks, short term, right? Asterisks. Now I'm gonna come back to criteria and we're gonna switch that, right? From just the word short, and come back in. I 
we'll put short term and see what shows up. 344 matches where I can come to results, right? And I can see them. You of course always have to read through quiet and cozy one bedroom and cute art deco building. The apartment is rented unfurnished, no pads, great location, right? No short-term rentals. There you go, it says no short-term rental. But you have to be able to sift through and that's a way to do it. Okay, excellent studio, Heart of Sunny Isles, $150 cleaning fee, 13% short-term rental taxes, resort fee 250. So did I answer some of you had that question? Now, how about if you're not the listing agent, but if you wanna use the um, input sheet to understand the data that's required in the system. And for that, I'm gonna come back in and we were here in okay to advertise, but what I wanna do is come back to the MLS page, which is up here. Right, MLS, and we're gonna go all the way down into the input forms, and here's the rental one. And I want you to suffer with that. I'm gonna copy and paste it into the chat, but those of you watching saw it. It was the MLS page all the way to the right-hand side, rental, and I put it in. When I open it, I clicked in it, we have here, and you have the areas that are required in red, right? And then here's the rent pay period, right? You can see development, style. And here there's a couple more than I wanted you to see. In the style selection, you have single family annual, single family seasonal. So to add, right? Are, do you enter a DILIC? I see you're saying here that you have a short-term rental listing but you're not able to edit it. Um, did you enter it or does the office enter it? You should be able to go back in. Did you wanna change some of this? So let me show it first and then I'll go in and show you. Now notice that there's efficiency, if there's a balcony, if there's a convertible bed, but I want you to see that there's a duplex, triplex, quadplex off season, right? There's annual, there's seasonal for hotel efficiency, townhouse seasonal, duplex seasonal, and more. Oh, Sarah, 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 he, Sarah, he, is that how I said it? Hi, how pretty. Hi, Sarah, he. Well, so you understand, we teach this in Matrix 401. And we teach you not only to add, edit, and do listening maintenance. The class is not about that. It's leveraging the input forms to know what you can search for. If you understand this, you understand what goes into the database. Does that make sense? And where it was, was on the MLS page. So on the website, your website, click on MLS. And then I came all the way down to the right and you have your MLS input forms here. And if this is the only thing you learn today, you guess what? That to me is a huge yes, because I teach it. And I really want you to leverage these forms. So the multiple listing service is a database. I need to be able to use that database. What better way than to understand the input forms, right? I always see it that way. So next you have you know, the faces where it faces, water frontage, furnished, which sometimes is important for the seasonal, parking, parking restriction, lot description, waterfront, pool description, subdivision information, informational features, right? Water access, view, design, floors, dining description, roof. And then the remark area. And that's why I showed you how to search in remarks. Okay. The pets allowed, pet restrictions, interior features, security, equipment, amenities, exterior features, miscellaneous window treatments, rental restrictions, if any, right? Additional info. So additional rooms, bathroom description, equestrian, storm protection, 
And here we have information on the rental statuses. So from all of those that I told you, we also need to add to that the style. So earlier I said rent period, rent status remarks, right? So rent period, I'm gonna type it in the chat, rent period, rent status remarks and style. When looking in remarks, Search, asterisk, short. Term. And then, I don't know if you saw the tip or not, but we're going to go back into the MLS a second to show you. you can, I can even show you here. When you're looking for something on any website, and depending on your computer, and your computer will be control, and the letter F, or command, and the letter F. Right, And what that does is it brings down a search bar, a find bar, and you can type the word short, okay? And it should look for it. Or let me go ahead and put rental data, just so you could see it. And it shows up 13 times. Okay, interesting, huh? And you'll see how um, it's easy to read a page. So if we were in matrix, I could put the word short term, short, and it shows up in the remarks and then in the broker remarks. Okay, you like that? It's a tip but uh, let me make sure that you're seeing it because I hate to show you something and that you not see it. This is the bar I'm talking about. You see it now, right? So control F or command F and the word you're looking for on the page. Okay. Well, now it's only want to show you that. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Let's come out of matrix. And let's come and look at other products that you have available to you. And I want to take a minute and come here into the home page. And I want to look under advocacy. Okay. And in here, I want to talk to you a little bit about section eight. And I also want to talk to you about, so I'm going to scroll down on that advocacy page. And let me share that with you. Copy paste it into the chat advocacy. It's always on the toolbar there. And you have code of ethics and you have information and RPAC, right? And then we're going to talk about this here. The first thing we're going to talk about Section 8 housing. And I'm going to click into here. And we have the Section 8 housing choice vouchers. If you are working with them, there is a video here that you can click into. And it will take you to the video. Okay. And you have them. I'm just excited. I'm excited for the event today. Thank you, Danielle Blake. Thank you, Letty, for. Okay. Complicated, especially um, when we have multiple and layers is, of ownership. Here, when we it says, know how to handle rental requests involving Section 8 housing vouchers. Attend this class to learn how to navigate through Miami-Dade housing agencies process. Get your clients approved, your customers as vendors in advance and more. And it actually works for Dayton Broward, right? And this is all from that section eight page and I'll share it with you. You also have a HUD fact sheet here available on the section eight page. And this is a uh, fact sheets, right? What are housing choice vouchers? Am I eligible? How do I apply? Local preference and waiting list. How do they function? Rent subsidy. Can I move and continue to receive housing voucher roles, et cetera? Are you a landlord looking to increase landlord participation? Right. What are housing choice vouchers and explanation, et cetera? So I love this. This is very informative. And if you have someone looking to uh, 
rent with this or a landlord interested, you have information here. Coming back to our section eight, we have, sorry, we have a HUD fact sheet, then we have the HUD inspection sheet. Oh, let's give it a second. Hopefully it'll work now. I'm gonna clear my cookies. Here we go. Let's see, HUD inspection sheet. And we'll do it this way and I'll send it to you and we'll make sure that that site's working before. And here you have a checklist so that you can review, right? Type of property, et cetera. Coming back into section eight, you have fair market rents. Okay, fair market rentals. With information, you can search, right? Documents and data. You can see the information available. They have a query tool. So here you have, click here. You can come into Florida, okay? You can choose your county. So let's say Broward, right? Next screen, you can see according to zip code. Had any of you seen this before? So if I'm not mistaken, now you see the, the pricing for a one bedroom. This is great info, very easy and at your fingertips. Again, the fair market rents. And then you have housing assistant payment contract and that video. I love the video. I always try to give you tools to help you. So the payment contract, um, and in different languages, okay? So all of you are in your section eight page. Now I'm gonna come back into advocacy. Um, Chloe, what do you mean by that? All rentals are subject to section eight. We don't discuss it. That's why that video is so important, right? Uh, but anything that's on the MLS, is uh, available to rent. You cannot exclude. Um, I'm going to come back into here. And actually, I'm going to take you to the rental page really quick. Let me type that correctly. And realtors.com forward slash rentals. And then the fair housing is one of the things that discusses that, okay? So we have to be mindful of it. Of it. I'm gonna come here and do advocacy really quick, bring you back down. And that was section eight information and that course, so get more information from there. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is assistance animals. And I hope I answered you, Chloe. Assistance animals and what they are, the obligation of a housing provider, examples, et cetera. So an assistance animal is an animal that works, provides assistance or performs tasks for the benefit of a person with a disability or that provides emotional support that alleviates one or more identified effects of a person's disability. An assistant animal is not a pet. And there it goes to describe more information. I'm going to copy that in and paste it. And then to answer Chloe even further, I'm going to come back into the MLS here, into our MLS page, and respond to you. And let me see if I have here. We have fair housing, and we have the Miami Dade and Broward uh, fair housing ordinances information. Right? And you cannot discriminate by race, color, religion, national origin, sex, disability, or familial status, and the additional exemptions. Right, And I'll share this with you. Okay, 
I hope this helps. Now coming back in, um, another part that I wanna show you that I find super interesting is if we come into, again, the gateway, let me close up some of these windows that we have open. We're going to come into what we call uh, rentalbees.com. And I wanna show you that you have some stats here. You can unleash the superpowers of rentals, right? Let me close these other ones. So I wanna make sure that I keep what you need available. Alrighty, and then we'll do the next one. More than half of your Miami neighbors are renting. What's your plan to become their realtor? Realtors, Miami Realtors and Rental Bees have partnered. And you have here a learn more. You have Rentals Matter right now, right? So why Rentals Matter information. Okay. I'm going to click back. You have an area here on close rental deals fast online and from the safety of your home. There's a guide for virtual rental transactions. A new education, found good renters. Here's uh, how to keep them happy. Rental Beast para Miami en Español. How to find and get rid of odors before listing your rental. I mean, it's all good stuff, right? And then view all articles, there's more. Now we're gonna come to the very top here because how about Miami market data? Active Miami Rentals, right? Rental Beast, there's 18,000, almost 19. And in the MLS, there are 9,761. Market opportunities, commission available, and median rents. And then there's a button here for more market data. If you click through, we have rental market snapshot, most expensive, least expensive, and deal, right? We have affordability. I like to show that here. So least expensive zip codes. Did you like that? Least expensive zip codes. Then I come back in. Most expensive zip codes. All righty. You want the link here for Rental Beast? Um, I really, for you to be able to use it the same way that you come into Matrix. Georgina, I want you to make sure that you see this. I came here, rentalbeast.com, miami.rentalbeast.com. This was the icon. Okay. i rather show you because if not, it's, it, it's difficult here. It's single sign in for you. Got it? Alrighty, so from here, I wanna come back, come in again and click more market data. And I showed you affordability, but I want you to see um, what active commissions are available. And then I'm gonna come back and there's a second rental beast for applications. And you can click through here. And this is meant truly to assist you with uh, working with someone who's going to rent. Now let's give it a second there while it thinks. I think I had it up in another one. I had it right here, so we'll use it from there. And what you have is a dashboard, right? Apply now by Rental Beast Lightning Fast Friendly to Agents, okay? And you can start your application here. Now, of course, I can't go through the whole process because I don't have an applicant 
But this is what I showed you. Remember, we were inside a listing and there was a little rental beast um, icon at the very end and it brought you to here. So this is to do the application property uh, process with the applicants and the address and you submit it and you put the contact info and um, they put it in and you should get it within 30 minutes, et cetera. So you get a background check with all kinds of information included for $49. And what's nice about this is that if within a 30 day period, you know, you can go and try to rent one property and they already did a background check and you do it through here, through Rental Beast, they can come back in and do the second one and it will remember that they already paid for the first and they don't have to pay again if it's between a 30 day period. So 30 day period, okay? Now, this is only one part of what you could do here. So this is a tenant screening, right? For $49 per person non-refundable, but you have the assurance that you can do what? Use it for multiple rentals. The next thing I like to show you is that there is a search here. Yes, they can rent. They can do it and they can pay. You just start the process. You have a search here. So let's say I want to come and search. And let me remove some of this. I'll clear it out. And I can do a search by city, neighborhood, or zip. So last day, I want to do 33186 um, just to show you. And I select it, right? And let's say that I want to do from uh, 1,000 to 3,000, right? And I'm not going to put, I'm going to put any for the beds and do a search. Well, this helps you search what's inside of matrix. So you would see the MLS. So we have one here for 3,000, three bed, three bath. We have another one for 3,000, three bed, three bath, right? And if I click next, well, there's only one page, there's five, and they're all in the MLS. And what's nice about this is that you can click through, you can see the information, right? You can email it to your customer. Let me make sure that you're seeing that. You are, oh, good. I like to make sure, and you can you know, select from your customers, et cetera, enter client full and show them. You can do it from here or you can do it from the MLS. Okay. Has all the pictures, et cetera. But there's other things in here. So you have a client, which in the state of Florida is customers. You can add your customers here by clicking new, putting in their information, adding them in. All right. And then you have the applications. Okay, you can initiate one here. You can do it from the dashboard. If you had listings, your listings would show here. And then you have education. And this is, of course, I like to teach, so I love this. You have a boot camp where you can learn more. Now, again, I just like to show you what we did was we come into the gateway. And first, this was for statistics and info. And here we came into the rental beast gateway here for the applications, right? And now we're in the dashboard and you can sign up to take the bootcamp, convert renter to buyers, bootcamp rentals, uh, start fast start. So how to do it. There's a program. There's 23 modules in here. I love to show you an intro introduction, email rental beast tools, lead management response assignment. Um, showing best practices, et cetera, scheduling a showing. So a whole list of things that can help you through the process of being a great resource. And then you have bootcamp, social media, social media and how to use it to engage. So you have so much here just at your fingertips. Now, do we have other products and services that can help you? Because we already have Rental Beast. I gave statistics and more. Well, let's go look. I have a couple more minutes left. So we're gonna come into our gateway and we're gonna scroll down a little bit and you have additional options for tenant screenings. One of them is my rental tenant screening right here. This one is directly connected to CoreLogic to Matrix. And if you click in, you're already logged in. Let's go ahead and let's do that one more time. All right.
Okay, and now that that's open, all right, you can see that you have a tenant screening here. Again, to answer Ariela, this one as well, you could put in the information. It sends them a link. The individual fills out all of their PIDs, their personal ID information. They click enter, they pay, and then you get it in 30 minutes or less. So you can select to do a screening from here. And then you can choose a basic tenant screening of eviction, previous address, terrorist check, multi-state criminal, multi-state sex offender. And you can add to that by getting a premium one for $24.49, right? Because we get discounts here, credit report, applicant pay options, safe rent, average score by geography, landlord's acceptance rate. Or you can choose what you need here. You click to select. So we love to give you options. And this is another option. You put the person's address, the lease information, click continue. It'll then come to applicant info. You put their name, email address, and then you can choose in the payment format for them to make, make the payment. It sends them an email. They click on the link, fill out their personal info. You never have to hold their personal info. And then in 30 minutes or less, you go ahead and get your information. Why I'm bringing you back here is because I want you to see a sample of what the tenant screening looks for this program, my rental tenant screening, because they offer it to us. We're going to come to the very bottom and you'll be able to see it. Here you have John Snow and Daenerys Targaryen and three children. Safe rent score. Average rent. Any alerts and reports. And then, you know... 76% of landlords would have accepted this in the area. Now I'm going to come here on the top and I'm going to look one second here. Your associations. Let me see if I can get you something else. Hold on. I wanted to do is I used to have a little link here. Let me see if I have an information sheet to send you guys. How would you like one of those? Say yes, please. <laughs> Go ahead. But yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Thank you, Kim, for your being right there. Um, here we go. I do have one. Excellent. Let me go ahead and send it to you guys. I'm going to open it though to be able to share it on screen. I'm going to send links as I had mentioned. Right. We're going to copy here and I'm going to send you guys links via the chat, but we'll go over them. But my tip is the associations. So here is Miami Dade. Oh, all righty, we'll do them here. Miami Dean. I'm glad I caught that associations. Why are these important? Because sometimes we need to review. So you can do City of Miami, Coral Gables, etc. So let's just do City of Miami. And here you have a couple. Do you see them on my screen? So I'm going to go ahead and give this one in, but I am still going to share with you that info sheet. All right, so that you have it, so you know what we're doing and you have the links to YouTube and to my realtor live and how to get a hold of us, et cetera. How about that? Okay, I just sent it through. I hope you got it. And then that was City of Miami. And here we have Coral Gables, right? And we have Kendall and Key Biscayne. Now, I'm going to come back into that sheet that I had open here and let's see if the Broward one is working. Here we have Condo Associations for Broward. 
Okay. And then I have one for Palm Beach. It's a list and I'll share it as well via the chat. And remember that this is an e-info sheet. And then before I let you go, I don't know if you've met your Miami trainers and I'll come on here a second. I'd love to say hi. I was at the very beginning. Oh, I have been on video. I don't know if you guys have been looking. Also, you've been seeing all my faces and gestures. How embarrassing. <laughs> hi. But I do like to come in and show you, look, if you come into YouTube, You will come to our entire YouTube channel here. Okay. And when you're here, you can search for rental or any of the courses that we provide that have to do with tech training. And you have videos already here. We even have some rental tips that we just did for you guys. All right. And in we let me look at these rental tips. I want you to rental see. tips with the Miami Advantage. Rental demographics are easily found. Okay. So I like to go ahead and here are the rental tips, the full playlist. They include market snapshots, demographics by zip code, most expensive, a rental handbook, and more. So I'll share this with you as well. So you have all of the tips, easy to get, quick. Okay, and then our rentals, the classes, I'm going to view the whole playlist here and share these with you. And I am going to uh, put up a copy of this recording. These are available to you. We just ask you to subscribe. Subscribing costs absolutely nothing, but that way you'll always know when we have videos and more being provided to you. Okay, I covered just about everything. If you have any questions, I will be here via the chat. I did send you links, information, a rental information sheet. And I wanna show you one more thing. If you put forward slash trainers on the website, you'll come to the trainer page and I want you to meet Robert and Christy and I'm Connie. These are the courses that we currently have. And if you scroll down, you can see that we have certifications and that's why we tell you so much to get them earned. But then we have an in-depth tech series. And here we have from mobile MLS, to Remind Pro, customer engagement, transaction tools, social media, market stats, MLS, commercial, premium tax, getting leads, free from Miami, Agent 3000, and soon to come a new rental one, which will include this class along with rental statistics and more. Now I gave you a tidbit of what we already have available, but we're always looking right for great ways to be able to help you and more. And I want to show you that if you come into any of these, right, right now, let's say I click into this free from Miami one, it'll take you to places where you can get the courses and more information. So we're really hoping to be able to provide you as much as we possibly can. Thank you again for being Miami members. It's been a great pleasure to be with you this morning, right? It is super informative and we really look forward to having you. If you want to repeat with me, I think I will be here this afternoon at one doing it in Spanish again. Oh, let me help you with the rental. Look, we're going to come into here. Stay one second. The rest of you, if you would like, she wanted some assistance with the ad edit of a rental. So you would either come into here into matrix, right? Or you could come to the ad edit button, either or. When you clicked add edit, right, you would need to know your listing number, or if you don't know your listing number, right, you would come into your listings, get your active ones and click. Now I don't have one, so I'm going to come through my firm. The recording, um, if available, will be inside of the rental playlist, which is this one. Let me copy and paste it. So this is the rental playlist. Um, I'll probably have it available uh, tomorrow or the next day. So here you would have your listing. You would select it. All right. You see your display. And then you can click to edit it. 
And for you to update what you initially put in, you would click here, change single family. And this is where you could then come and change it. I hope that helped. All righty. Thank you so much for being Miami members, for having spent this morning with me. You have a wonderful day, and we'll get this recording out there as soon as possible. I need you then to go ahead and send a message to me so I can get you some assistance. I got the MLS to help. Takani at MiamiRE.com. Did it already close out? Or it's still active? Alrighty, let's get you some help. So I mean, that screenshot. Thank you all so much. It was wonderful to be with you today. Have a great day.